measurements, markers, and maps. About extending your borders. You know, back in, the, back in the Old Testament, there are several passages that say, do not move the, uh, the ancient, the boundaries that your forefathers, that the ancients have established and set. There used to be a thing, and you can see some instances of it in the Old Testament, some stories where uh, they, people would, would drive their stakes and mark out their territories. Well, then in the night, people who wanted to steal land would come and they would s silently pull those stakes up and they would move them in a little bit. They would broaden their borders and shrink uh, their enemies' borders. Well, that's one thing the, the Bible conceptually teaches us to keep, be mindful of your borders, of your measurements. Be mindful of those things. And how do you do that? You do that through having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and through memorizing his word. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That's establishing measurements in your life. Now, knowledge is power. Vagueness promotes instability. I want to say that again, that vagueness promotes instability. Truth and light expose darkness. Truth and light expose darkness. Truth is light, and it helps to expose darkness. God never leaves us without useful tools for measuring, marking, and mapping. One of the tools the Antichrist spirit uses is the withholding of information. Because vagueness will promote insecurity. God's already started the revival. He's sweeping his arm across the whole entire world and he's redeeming and reclaiming souls one at a time. He's giving people one final warning or one final bidding to come in. And he wants you to partner with him in that attempt to win the lost. That's what he's doing. That's why he's calling. That's why he's saying redeem the time because the days are evil. Yeah. He's, he's telling us that. So as, as part of this revival, how many of you want to be a part of that? I don't want to see anybody die and go to hell. I don't want to see anybody be sit alone and be confused and be ostracized and be criticized and all those things because of bad relationships. I want to be used by God to bring back restoration Amen. to those who are lost. Amen. That's right. We've been given the ministry of reconciliation. Say that. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. That's reconciling the lost back to God. And we do that through uh, learning for ourselves about measurements. Now, me a measurement is a consistent. Say that word, consistent. consistent. What a disciple of Christ is, it's somebody who consistently does the right thing. That's the difference between being disciplined and undisciplined. So it's time to be consistent with, with what God has called us to do. So be consistent and use an exact guide for determining the distances of your borders and clearly defined parameters for an objective or area. Without a vision, people perish. NIV says, With, for lack of knowledge, people perish. If you fail to define your measurements, your parameters, your objectives, your ministry base, what God's called you to do, you will not be successful. I'm sorry. You will not be successful until you know what it is you are supposed to do. And you know what? The devil wants to help you accomplish not knowing what you're supposed to do. So he'll help sit you in front of the TV for hours. And he'll help sit you in front of yourself, gazing at yourself in your own life for hours. 
And he'll set you in front of your idols and your objects, whatever they might be, your job, your home, your family, whatever it might be, to distract you from keeping you from defining the specific measurements of the ministry that God has called you to. Because vagueness will promote instability. Have you noticed? There's nobody knocking at your door saying, Hi, we're here to remind you that God's called you to a specific ministry and it's time for you to continue doing that ministry. Have you noticed that doesn't happen? Because it's your responsibility. Thank you. The reason maybe nothing's happening in your life is because you have failed to take responsibility for it. And I don't say that to be mean or anything else. I just want to say that in, in light of redeem the time because time is running out. You know what? It's never too late to start. Have you ever heard that? That is so true. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start, is it, Ruth? It's never too late to start. But... If you wait too long, it may be too late to finish. 